Well, moving on now, we all know that gas prices are high and getting higher, but are they illegally high? Seven on your side's Michael Finney is looking into the discussion about whether or not oil companies are price gouging us at the pumps. Michael. With gas prices surpassing $6 a gallon, even $7 at some station, you may be wondering if prices can even get higher. Well, unfortunately, you're not going to like the answer. Attorney Lori Kalani works with oil companies and other businesses targeted by state attorneys general for investigation. She predicts that California Attorney General Rob Bonta will be among those who looks into price gouging. Kalani thinks it is his responsibility to get to the bottom of this. I know I'm going to the pumps and my car costs about 20 bucks more to fill. You know, we're in the middle of a war. Kalani advises her clients that they are being watched closely. I think companies, oil companies, would be really wise to, you know, have the record keeping and the justification and know the law. Jim Sweeney is a professor of management science and engineering at Stanford. He thinks we haven't seen the end of gas price hikes based on oil futures in both the United States and Europe. There's another 20, 30 cents a gallon to go that's already baked in by the crude oil futures prices. Sweeney doesn't see any evidence of price gouging and says the price of oil is dictated by the world markets. He does think there's reasons to look into some individual stations and franchises and questions whether $7 a gallon is really necessary. Severin Bornstein of the Haas School of Business also doesn't see any evidence of price gouging. They aren't really gouging any more than if you own a house in San Francisco and the price of housing goes up, you sell it for a higher price. Bornstein thinks more attention needs to be paid to the Exxon oil refinery fire from 2015. Prices went up 30 cents a gallon back then, but never came back down even after the impact of the fire on gas supplies went away. He says if you want to reduce your cost of gas by as much as 70 cents a gallon, go to off brands such as Costco and Rotten Robbie. There is no substantial difference between branded and unbranded gasoline. Even with the savings, the prices will still be high. Sweeney thinks it's a small price to pay. If a high price of gasoline is, is a consequence of cost of, of trying to stop what Russia is doing, I think it's worth it. Both Sweeney and Bornstein say the sudden spike in oil prices is in, in, and is in anticipation of the oil supply being cut off from Russia. Now, we want to hear your stories. Please send me your tips about your frustrations and triumphs on money matters ranging from buying your first home to buying your last home to saving for retirement. Just go to abc7news.com slash seven on your side. Excellent. All right. Thanks, Michael, very sure. much.